Hey, frugal family. So, I made chicken last night for the boys. <clears throat> well, for all of us. And I'm using that flash frozen chicken thighs that you can get at Walmart and HEB. And flash frozen just means, as oh, what it says, it's, it's frozen quickly so that they can be in individual pieces. And you don't so have to not, process it or freeze it yourself. Yeah, it's already that. done. And I think I used about... I used a lot of thighs. <laughs> Two, four, six, eight. Eight thighs. And I seasoned the crap out of them with uh, Pensy Justice Spice, some garlic pepper, and some onion and herb. Um, these are salt-free. Uh, I think, yeah, they're all salt-free except for the McCormick one because it's got pink Himalayan salt. And um, I seasoned them really, really well. And uh, there you saw my boys. And, uh, and then I just cooked them for about... I want to say 15 minutes, and that is the juices that these chicken thighs rendered. Beautiful. These are skinless, boneless. And then um, I put them in the air fryer. Save those drippings. I put them in the air fryer for about 15 minutes because I want them juicy, but I also want them crispy on top. This does not dry them out, I promise you. And in those drippings, I'm going to put some potatoes. Um, I want to say this is about six potatoes. Uh, and you see they're big chunks. And I'm going to cook them in those chicken drippings. Mix them all around. And I'm going to hit them with some more seasoning. Some um, uh, pepper and that McCormick Himalayan salt garlic pepper. And um, have those cooking for the exact same time that the chick chicken is cooking in the air fryer. Now, uh, you know, when they're done, I remove them, put them on a plate. Those of you know, I do not have an oven, but we made the decision. We're gonna go ahead and get a new to us oven, but we're gonna actually get a oven stove combination and I'll do a video about uh, why we decided to do that. Um, so we're gonna remove that wall oven and put in a standard oven, uh, you know, stovetop oven. Um, it will fit in our, our kitchen and it just makes sense. I do not want a wall oven. Okay, so now the chicken is done and I am going to make a gravy because this is my, this is my version of smothered chicken without having to fry, you know, the chicken. Um, we did put a little bit of olive oil in the beginning. So I'm making just a traditional uh, chicken gravy. When I don't feel like making a gravy, I always use a can of cream of chicken and I will add it to the uh, chicken drippings and mix. Maybe add a little bit of broth. It tastes amazing. Now I'm gonna tuck the chicken into the gravy. That looks like a roaring boil because I really need that sauce to thicken up. So uh, eventually I will lower it to simmer it. And then those potatoes go right into the air fryer because I want those to be crispy on the edges as well and get that roasted effect. And um, they're both going to cook for about 15 minutes. And then look at that gravy. It just thickened up perfectly. And dinner basically is done. And this is how I do these big meals without an oven. But... Um, I'm just using my air fryer instead of an oven, to be honest. That's what's happening. Um, and it is a small air fryer, so I have to do things in batches. But there, you know, we do need to normalize making recipes for people who do not have all their kitchen equipment that you would think. I mean, there are, there are people living in um, dorms, uh, hotels, uh, or, you know, something is broken and they don't have the money to fix it. And so I hope this recipe helps those of you who would like to make a homemade meal.